Hello everyone and welcome to the 2019-2020 Senior Awards Program. This is Mr. Shadio serving as your MC for this prestigious event. Grab your favorite beverage and snacks as we recognize a number of deserving students from the class of 2020. We're going to start off today with our Music Department Awards. And first for band. The outstanding senior in band wins the John Philip Souza Award. This award comes with a trophy and they get their name on a plaque in the trophy case. Mr. Stifler chose Evan Babbitt to win this award because he is in pep band, concert band, and the marching Mohawks. He went to Butler Band Camp and plays with the Shelbyville Community Band. Congratulations to Evan Babbitt for winning this award. Next up, we have our choir awards. First is the National School Choir Award. This award is for dedication and musical achievement. This deserving student has really gone above and beyond to be the best singer she could possibly be. She has truly come out of her shell this year, and this national award goes to Brittany Isgrig. Next up is the Director's Award for Chorus, and this award pertains to leadership. The Director's Award goes to the student that shows the most leadership within the classroom. This young lady really started showing her skills this year in class. Mrs. Peterson says that she can't, uh, she hates that she couldn't see what she was going to do at our final concert. Congratulations goes out to McKeon Allen. Next up is our Soaring High Choral Award. This goes to someone who is ambitious and a go-getter. This goes to a young lady who didn't really know what she wanted to do with her future until last year. She de decided that she really wanted to teach the littles. Not only has she been ambitious in Miss Peterson's class, but she's done this well the last two years as a cadet teacher with Mrs. Daly. The Soaring High Choral Award goes to Hope Pruitt. Congratulations to Hope, and all recipients will receive their awards at graduation, and Miss Peterson will want a picture with each one of you so we can put that in the choral department case. Congratulations. Next, we're going to move on to our teacher awards, and we're going to start with the math department. The math department award goes to Maddie Tyree, who went above and beyond in probability and statistics class to complete her work. She always asked questions if she didn't understand something. She cares about education and was a joy to have in class over the past four years. Despite her being a UK fan, Mr. Bertram wishes her the best of luck in her future endeavors. Congratulations, Maddie. Next, we go to Mrs. Carnes. Ms. Carnes has nominated David Beyer as her recipient of the award. She says that David has always done everything asked of him. He gives 100% to get every assignment complete and turned in. He's grown and matured noticeably every year. Congratulations, David. Now we move on to social studies. Mrs. Corbin chose Ian Carter as the recipient of the Social Studies Award. She says that Ian has shown a determination to do more than the required classes in social studies. He's gone above and beyond by pushing his senior year to take a push after having to wait a year to take the class. In class, Ian has expressed a level of inquiry that has led to many good discussions on a variety of historical topics. He also has pushed himself to understand topics in economics by asking insightful questions which would lead to other questions. Congratulations, Ian. Next, for Miss Fryer, she has, chose, she has chosen Maddie Robinson to win this award for English. Maddie has always been an impressive student, mostly due to her determination and focus. Her writing is strong, but more importantly, her ideas indicate a level of maturity greater than her age. Ms. Fryer always enjoys hearing her thoughts and reading her analysis as she offers new ideas and connections. Congratulations, Maddie. Next up, we go to science with Ms. Gibson. She's nominated Katie Kuhn as her winner. She says that Katie has shown a great interest in chemistry the past three years. She's excelled in all three chemistry courses that she's taken, as well as anatomy. She has a great analytical mind that will help her to be a wonderful pharmacist. 
Her ability to be involved in many sports and clubs while maintaining a great GPA amazes Miss Gibson. It also helps that she laughs at all of Miss Gibson's jokes. Miss Gibson says she will miss her energetic and beautiful soul in class. Congratulations, Katie. Katie has also been nominated as the award recipient for math from Miss Holly. She says that Katie has continuously worked hard in mathematics over the last five years. She has gracefully taken on the challenge of our most difficult classes and has continued to work diligently through this current situation. On top of her a uh, academic abilities, she's also sweet, caring, hilarious, and a joy to have in class. Her presence will be missed next year, and Miss Holly looks forward to seeing all that she accomplishes. So congratulations again, Katie. Moving on to art, Miss Coker has selected Lexi Voorhees as her winner. Lexi is deserving of this award for many reasons. Lexi has maintained an A-plus in all of her art classes. She is very creative and talented. From pink water bottle pigs to paper mache cactus, she always creates something unique. She's more talented than she gives herself credit for. Lexi stands out from the rest because she always takes care of the little things. She's truly been a pleasure to watch, and Miss Coker wishes her the best of luck. Congratulations, Lexi. Now we move on to Mr. Miller for Social Studies, and he has nominated Evan Babbitt as the winner. Evan was quite a bit shy when he first came to Mr. Miller's class, but as first semester went on, he started to show his true colors. Evan was always one of the first to answer questions in class and would almost always ask even more engaging questions that would carry the conversation further. He showed a very caring personality towards his other classmates at all times. He was a great student, and Mr. Miller will miss having him in class. Congratulations, Evan. Next, we move on to English with Miss Neff, and she has selected Cody Allen as the winner of her award. Cody transferred to Waldron High School his senior year. He struggled with English at his previous school, but always managed to do enough to get by. However, getting by was not good enough for him when he got here to Waldron. With the help of Miss Neff and Miss Carnes, Cody grew more confident in himself, and they were able to help him find solutions to some problems within the subject matter. Cody kept improving his grades in every nine weeks and had the highest grade he ever received in an English class by the third nine weeks. However, with the sudden shutdown of our school for the last quarter, Cody has to do assignments on his own with limited assistance. He tries his best and will reach out when he needs help. By building his confidence this year and developing his English skills, Cody is prepared to go out into the world and meet challenges head on, working diligently to find solutions and knowing that just enough is not the level that satisfies him. Congratulations, Cody. On to facts. The Senior Family and Consumer Science Award goes to Sierra Williams. Sierra showed leadership and enthusiasm in class during weekly visits to work with young children at Waldron Elementary School. She demonstrated patience and a gentleness when working with the young students. Congratulations, Sierra. The Choral Piano Department Award goes to Maddie Robinson. While Maddie has only been involved in piano for one year, she's shown tremendous dedication, drive, and growth. She strives to do her best and asks for help when she needs it. Ms. Peterson says she's so proud of Maddie and all of her hard work. Many blessings to you, Maddie, as you work towards your future at Marion. Congratulations. On to the PE department with Mr. Scott. He selected Cole Chapelo for the Senior Award in PE. Cole has shown constant dedication and work ethic during weightlifting and was always a pleasure to have in class. He was supportive and demanding as a lifting partner and took pride in his progress. Congratulations, Cole. On to the Agriculture Department, Ms. Spiegel has selected Ryan Oliver as the Senior Agriculture Award winner. Not only has he expressed his agriculture knowledge through FFA, Ryan takes to the classroom with just as much passion. Ryan came to Waldron just this year, but through his past experiences of internships and shadowing different veterinary and animal science locations, he was able to bring an accelerated knowledge supported by experiences to his classmates and his work. Congratulations, Ryan. 
On to Miss Warner. She has selected Allie as her senior winner for this year. She says that Allie is creative and works well with younger students. She loves helping out with the preschool during cadet teaching. She also likes reading and helping around Miss Warner's classroom. Congratulations, Allie. Now we're going to move on to our academic letters. After three semesters of high school, students earn their academic letter by achieving a minimum cumulative GPA of 3.5. For every year they achieve the minimum GPA, they receive an academic star to go with their academic letter. Earning their academic letters for this school year are Ian Carter and Lexi Voorhees. Hope Pruitt has earned her first academic star for her second year of achieving the 3.5 GPA. Katie Kuhn has earned her second academic star. As well as Maddie Robinson and Dalen Williams. So congratulations to all of our academic star winners. Moving on to the honors diplomas. The following students are on track to earn their academic honors diplomas this school year. McKeon Allen and Ian Carter, Katie Kuhn and Ryan Oliver, Hope Pruitt and Maddie Robinson, Maddie Tyree and Dalen Williams. The following students have earned a combination of dual credits and or certifications to be on track to earn technical honors diplomas. Paige Fuel and Ryan Oliver. Maddie Robinson and Dalen Williams. Now we move on to our honor societies. While at Waldron High School, the following students were inducted into National Honor Society and will be wearing cords at graduation. Ian Carter and Katie Kuhn. Hope Pruitt and Maddie Robinson. Lexi Voorhees and Dalen Williams. We also have two students who attended Blue River Career Programs during high school and were inducted into their National Technical Honor Society. They will also be wearing cords at graduation. These students are Paige Fuel and Maddie Robinson. Now we move on to the last part of our awards program, which is to recognize those students who are recipients of various scholarships from local and state organizations. Some students have already been notified of their awards, while others will be learning about them here today. We are going to start with the Blue River Community Foundation Scholarships. Every year, the Blue River Community Foundation awards scholarships from funds that were created by generous and caring people in our community. Those donors have their own stories and reasons for establishing these scholarships. Sometimes it's in memory of a loved one, or to give back to their community who has supported them over the years, and for many it is a way to help students pursue a career path that is near and dear to them. This spring the Foundation will award 168 scholarships to 132 students from these various funds for a combined total of over $430,000. BRCF is also fortunate that Lilly Endowment Inc. entrusts BRCF to administer the Lilly Endow Endowment Community Scholarship for Shelby County. This scholarship program was established in 1998 as a partnership between Lilly Endowment and with each of Indiana's county's community foundation. The scholarship is designate, des, sorry, des, designed to raise the level of educational attainment in Indiana and further leverage the ability of Indiana's community foundations to improve the quality of life for residents in Indiana. The scholarship provides full tuition and a special allocation of up to $900 per year for books and equipment for four years of full-time undergraduate study 
at any accredited Indiana college or university. Although this year's recipient was announced last December, I would like to recognize this outstanding young woman on her achievement. Congratulations to Maddie Robinson. Maddie plans to attend Marion University this fall and major in nursing. Congratulations again, Maddie, on this prestigious award. Our next scholarship to be awarded is the Betty Lux Award. It was first awarded in 2015. Members of the class of 1960 helped create this award to pay tribute to Betty, who is a longtime supporter of Waldron High School. This year's recipient is Katie Kuhn. Our next scholarship that we have to present is the Lewis and Mary J. Abstein Scholarship. This scholarship was established upon Mary's death in 1988 to benefit Shelby County High School seniors going to college. Although they had no immediate family to continue their legacy, their memory will live on for many years through this substantial scholarship and the many students it financially supports each year. This year's winner is Dalen Williams. The next BRCF administered scholarship is the Delta Theta Tau Scholarship. The local Zeta Lambda chapter was chartered in 1938 and started awarding scholarships to a graduating senior at each of the five Shelby County High Schools in the 1970s. The local sorority is proud to continue that tradition as well as recently providing a scholarship to a current college student each year. The 2020 recipient is Katie Kuhn. Next we have the City of Shelbyville Scholarship, which was established in 2013 by Mayor Tom DeBond to support local educational scholarships to students who are children of current City of Shelbyville, Indiana employees. This year's recipient is Paige Fuel. Next we have the Rachel Harding Memorial Scholarship which was established by Rachel's family and friends in 2010 after she died in a car accident. She was a sophomore at Waldron High School where she was active in band, Sunshine Society, and SAD. She was a member of the Lewis Creek Baptist Church, Girl Scouts, various 4-H clubs, junior leaders, and the 4-H Advisory Council. Her passion was showing her dogs Alfie, Kipper, and Wilson in the 4-H Dog Project. Her plans were to attend Purdue University, to become a veterinarian or vet technician. Her family established this scholarship in her memory to help other Waldron students pursuing a college degree. A note that was found in Rachel's locker said, smile, it makes life better. The 2020 recipient is Katie Kuhn. Next up, we have the Waldron Class of 1960 scholarship. This scholarship was established by the Shelby County Purdue Booster Club to encourage and financially support Shelby County students planning to attend Purdue University. This year's recipient is Madison Tyree. Congratulations, Maddie. Next, we have the Shelbyville Rotary Club, a local service organization established this fund in 1996. For years, Rotary's commitment to service above self has been channeled through the four avenues of service, which form the foundation of club activity, one of which is community service. The opportunity Rotary Clubs have to implement club projects and activities that improve the life in the local community. This year's recipient is Katie Kuhn. Next, we move on to the Advantage Shelby County Scholarship. The Advantage Shelby County program provides an opportunity for Shelby County students to earn an associate's degree and or college credits to transfer over to other schools, all for free, as long as they graduate from a Shelby County high school with a minimum GPA of 2.0. The following students are on track for the Advantage Shelby County program at Ivy Tech this fall. David Beyer and Cole Chapelow. Sean Cole and Paige Fuel, Parker Huffman and JT Johns, 
Cameron Rogers, and Bailey Simmons. Brendan Spiker and Tim Stevens. Maddie Tyree and Lexi Voorhees. And finally, Sierra Williams. Next up, we have the Daughters of the American Revolution Award. Katie Kuhn was chosen by school staff to represent Waldron High School for the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizens Award. She was selected for this award by demonstrating the following qualities. Dependability, service, leadership, and patriotism. Congratulations, Katie. The Next Generation Hoosier Educator Scholarship was awarded to Hope Pruitt. She was awarded this scholarship this spring and she will be attending Ball State University to major in elementary education and will commit to a minimum of five years service teaching in the state of Indiana after graduation. Congratulations, Hope. Next we have the Kappa Kappa Sigma Scholarship, the Helen R. Van Way Kappa Kappa Sigma New Chapter Scholarship is going to Katie Kuhn. The scholarship committee was truly impressed with Katie's accomplishments both in academics and her community involvement, which is why she is this year's recipient. Congratulations, Katie. The FOP Fallen Officer Memorial Scholarship was created by the Shelby Lodge No. 84 to support law enforcement officers who serve Shelby County and their families. This year's recipient for Waldron High School is Paige Fuel. The Shelby Eastern Classroom Teachers Association Scholarship is going to a Waldron senior who is pursuing a career in education. This year's recipient is Hope Pruitt. The Eastern Star Scholarship is given by the Eastern Star Chapter in Shelbyville. The $1,000 scholarships are given at most high schools in Shelby County. I'm sorry, at all of the high schools in Shelby County. Eastern Star is part of the Masonic family, and the Waldron High School Scholarship is given in memory of Barbara Barlow, who is a longtime member of Eastern Star and a great supporter of Waldron High School. This year's recipient is Katie Kuhn. This year's recipient of the St. Paul Kiwanis Club Scholarship goes to Hope Pruitt. Congratulations, Hope. The Tri Kappa Scholarship uh, is from a unique philanthropic organization existing only within Indiana. Founded in 1901, the sorority's mission is to bring women into close, unselfish relationships for the promotion of charity, culture, and education. Tri Kappa was the first charitable donor to Riley Hospital and continues this tradition today. Our Shelby County chapter members work diligently to raise funds to support local community organizations, Riley Hospital, and to provide annual college scholarships. Kappa 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 Gamma Delta chapter will be awarding five college scholarships this year. Recipients are chosen upon character, community service, academic performance, personal essays, letters of recommendation, and financial need. It's my distinct privilege to announce that Katie Kuhn has been chosen as one of the recipients for the 2020 Tri Kappa Gamma Delta Chapter Scholarships. Congratulations, Katie. Our last award to be given today is a new one. It's the Jacob James Integrity Scholarship. The Jacob James Integrity Award was created this academic year after the tragic passing of Waldron High School senior Jacob James, a classmate of the 2020 cohort. Jacob participated on Waldron's cross country and track and field teams throughout his high school career with the intent to run at the college level. A memorial fund was established to support the cross country and track and field athletes at Waldron High School. The Jacob James Integrity Scholarship is a one-time award for a senior who will be continuing their education and demonstrates integrity on a regular basis, a quality held dearly by Jacob's family. 
This year's winner is Dalen Williams. He will be attending Franklin College this fall and plans to continue his track and field career while there. I want to say congratulations to the Waldron High School class of 2020. I know that this year has been much different than we had anticipated, but I do want to recognize our class and just say we will always remember you and I want to wish you the best of luck in all that you do in the future. Thank you for attending today's awards program.